Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to warn some of you that this video may be triggering or upsetting to some viewers, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to be totally raw with you guys in this video, and so just wanted to let you know. So if you keep watching, see you soon. Sam, what are you doing up there, Sam? Are you fridger, fridge top beezin? You're a refrigerator beezin. Aren't you, Sam? Yes, you're beezin up there with the frosted flakes. Frosted flakes beezin. Hello, foodie beauties. Hello. I'm trying not to talk too loud because pizza's working. So, today we are going to um, do something a bit different. Um, we are going to do pretty sure I did this maybe before I'm sure I did <laughs> but this is going to be an actual official fast food funeral and um, I have to do this so it's either it's either I quit YouTube or I change the program or I change my material and, um, do I love eating fast food and things that are not good for me? Yes. Do I wish I could eat them every day without consequence? Obviously. But that's not the case. It's just not going to work out. And, um, no matter how much I think I can control fast food, it controls me so and a lot of people are going to say no shit you know you've blocked a lot of people for telling you stuff like that and yeah because I think I guess it's just something I don't want to be true you know like I don't want to have this problem with food <laughs> I mean I don't know how other other to explain it than just complete denial over the situation and when I when I go through phases of saying I can control my eating habits I'll just have some and I'll eat healthy the rest of the time and it just never happens but when I when I when I say those things it's like I really believe them so I really don't know how to stop those thoughts from like making them reality do you know what I'm saying so, all right, um, I'm going to eat today a lot of my favorite junk, and then I have to bury it before it buries me. I did that for dramatic effect, but it's true. Um, I think we all know the dangers of obesity and how it cuts your life almost in half, so, if not more. So, I don't want to die. I don't want to feel like shit anymore. I don't want to feel like a prisoner of food. Like, all I do all day is think about food. And doing mukbangs, at least the unhealthy ones. Because when I do ones that I cook a healthy meal, it's like I have to eat a healthy meal anyway. So it doesn't feel the same as having to figure out what kind of unhealthy food I want to do and then be consumed by it. Um, so I feel like a lot of people will understand that. I feel like some people won't. But I can tell you right now, there's not a single person, not a single person in my life who understands what I'm going through um, and that's not their fault like that's not their fault it's just that what I'm dealing with is like a lonely road you know and um, yeah so I have said this before and then I go back to mukbangs like the next day so uh, I don't know what to say. All I can say is I'm not going to do that this time because I really have to. 
I mean, food has ruined enough of my life already. It's ruined enough relationships. It's just... Actually, it's not food. It's, it's me who's done that. But I used food to do it. So, anyway. Um, yeah. I guess we're going to have to... I mean, I want to, like, focus on becoming healthy and... to a place where I can start, I guess, dating and stuff like that. Um, and I want to be able to travel around and just, you know, make health my priority. Um, I'm 36. I feel like I could start a whole new life, you know? If I just let myself, if I just don't give in to the discomfort of going through food withdrawals, of going through, um, and they are real. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't believe it, but ask Pete's, I get, like when I try I get super, super cranky, super depressed. It's more of a psychological thing. Um, I do get headaches. I do feel nauseous. And I know that it's temporary. But this is, this is, um, this is like a, a, an addiction that I'll have to, but this is something that I'll have to like live with forever and just fight every day to stay away. So, um, all right, that being said, I'm going to drive around and you're going to come with me and we're going to bees one last time together. Someone just left me a voicemail. You ever feel like you just can't handle anything? <laughs> I don't want to check any voicemails. I don't want to deal with life. I just want to go eat. And then tomorrow I'm going to wake up and force myself to become a better person all right so as for the plant-based foods I bought they're all processed and they really they do actually like I had a rash weird rash breakout after eating one of the Gardein chicken burgers the other day so I don't know if I have an allergy to something but the highly processed vegan meats are not good for me either so um i don't think i'll be eating them anymore all right guys let's get to let's get to first up arby's for a beef and cheddar all right we are approaching arby's i want to go get two tacos after across the street but like the line is huge everyone's getting tacos for some reason today why am I bitching them out? I am too. There's like no line at Arby's. Oh, someone just went in. I'm just gonna get like a beef and cheddar because I need to save room for all my stuff I wanna eat today. <laughs> I know it sounds so bad and gluttonous. Okay. Hi, welcome to Arby's. Can I take your order? Hi, can I have a beef and cheddar, please? The classic size? Yes. Um, and also a large... Just the sandwich or the meal? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to get just the sandwich, but also a large lemonade with extra ice. Okay, um, so a beef and cheddar classic and then a large lemonade with extra ice? Yes, please. That's everything? That's it. 964, please drive through. Thank you. All right, guys. First uh, meal, first thing of the day. 
I have no idea how I'm gonna stop eating this stuff. I love it so much. Even though Arby's meat curtains beef sandwich, when you look at it, it doesn't look too appetizing. They must put something. Here we go. All right. I need to put more Arby sauce on this thing. Oh my god. Yeah, baby. Come to daddy. Come to mama. Alright. Beauty bite. Beauty bite. The line to Taco Bell is huge. But I really love tacos. Mm. I wanted to get some. Like, why can't this food be healthy? You know, I really don't understand it. Mm. There's a truck picking up his order at the window. Like the guy ran over. So, let's go across the way. See if I can get a couple tacos. All right, now let's go to. <clears throat> All right, I had to wait for like what felt like 80 cars to pull out and get by, and <sighs> there is a huge lineup at Taco Bell. Is it going to be worth it? Probably, honestly. I would say so, but that's just me. I mean, I have the most fun, obviously, eating the stuff that I love and indulging and doing videos eating what I want but there's consequences right <clears throat> so unfortunately if I want to feel good 
It's also like, I know like you can have a cheat day here and there, but when you're not normal with food, you can't. <laughs> so, because a cheat day will definitely trigger a full on binge. I will probably, if I end up losing weight, gain all the weight back I've lost. Oh my God, look at this, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous people like me and all of these people waiting in a huge line for friggin' tacos. <laughs> Aren't we pathetic? I have no idea what I'm gonna have for the rest of the day. I'll probably... I don't know yet, guys. Let's see how I feel. I didn't want like fries. Fries really like potatoes really fill you up, you know. <clears throat> Jeez. So I got a message from the travel agent, and she said that like, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> if you want to be alone in your room on the trip, it's gonna cost like. $300 more so but I have until like friggin December to pay so I'm just like okay I don't I, don't, I really don't like <sighs> my friend said that there's another girl that would come and like be in the room with me and I don't I don't know her like why would I want to be in a room with a stranger I'm just not I, that's why I can't do hostels when I travel or I mean I can't do it like, I would just be more comfortable in my own room. You know what I mean? Nothing against that person, obviously. But I would just be more comfortable by myself. And, you know. Like, what if it happens? I want to have somebody back in my room. I don't know even know if they're allowed to. But, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm not saying I will. But, you never know. <laughs> right? So, because of my hoe days, I've learned that. I don't like the way one night stands make me feel, so it probably wouldn't happen. Like, I prefer to wait and have a meaning, like, to have a really good connection with someone. Like, it just makes everything more satisfying. Like, um, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's, when it comes to sex, it's like quality over quantity for sure. So, yep. Anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys when I have my tacos. All right, finally got my tacos. And hot sauce. I got two Dorito Taco Supreme. The guy ahead of me. I'm like, please don't let his order be too much so I don't have to wait too long. He got like a huge mega meal from the KFC part. Then he got two big boxes. And then she's like, is there anything else? He's like, oh yeah, and I need eight of your vegetarian burritos. I'm like, lovely. <laughs> Murphy's Law, right? All right. Oh yeah, hot sauce. First bite for you guys, beauty bite. Mm. Right now, it's so ideal. I'm in a private spot. The food is amazing. Mm. Hmm. Everybody has me questioning. Are you sure you want this to be your last? I 
he'll never be happy not being able to eat this stuff. Mmm. So got more. I wore my bin shirt. It's already stained. I know the packets are dirty, whatever. A normal person could eat at home six days a week. Then on the weekend be like, oh, let's go have a nice treat at Taco Bell. And then eat it and never think about it for the week. And plus on top of that, you know how I am with eating food that's like not the healthiest, how it makes my body feel. <laughs> with IBS and everything else. So... I think they put soy protein, they mix it with the beef so that I can taste it. Maybe I'm wrong. But a lot of companies will use that as filler to make their product go for longer. Like um, if you eat a lot of frozen dinners with beef, they use a lot of soy product with the beef. <sighs> I'm still hungry. I honestly want like five more tacos. Those were so good. They were better than the beef and cheddar. Hands down. Some people now. Smile on your brother, everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. I'm going to think about what I want now. And I'll see you when I decide. Alright. Let's have a party. Chinese. General Tao chicken. My favorite noodles ever. And three open ended egg rolls. So, first, I'm going to have an egg roll. I like the open end ones. Mm. 
I love you. I've filmed this kind of video many times. I've also deleted many times. General So. Mm. Hot. Mm. This is good. Mm. And I've done that because I didn't want to do this whole back and forth thing. You know, didn't want to do it until I thought it was really ready. And then I thought, I'm never going to be ready. I'm never going to be ready. There's not going to be an easy way to do this. I'm not going to have any more strength to fight this tomorrow than I do today. Regardless of how many times I've failed in the past, your support is welcome. And if you don't want to, I understand that too. I'm gonna get up. Try to fight through it. I have to stay focused. And it's so easy to say that while I'm eating, <laughs> you know. I'm literally just going to take this day by day. That's all I can do. Let's get a fortune cookie. Other stop you from doing what you know is right. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat some more, put some away for later, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a better day. So, yes, and thank you for sticking by me and. Um, I'm just going to keep thinking of all the things I want to do once these restrictions are lifted and how I can't do them right now. So I've got that deposit on that trip. Can't lose it. <laughs> can't waste my money. It's only one seat. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.